the size of this jar. Yeah, I think he's in the 60s for sure. Look at there. I think this joker's gonna go just over 60 inches, maybe even more, I don't know. But legal, five brow tines on this side, four on that side. He started thrashing, coming in, I could not believe it. And we are definitely blessed today. Check this bad boy out. He's a big old joker. He's nice. <laughs> 4570, Hornady ammo, little loophole Delta Point Pro on top of that thing. I didn't really need it because I think the shot was 50 yards. But uh, yeah, it did the trick, so it was awesome. So what you're doing here, get a big bowl down like this. Then you're gonna quarter them up. You're not gonna save the, the cape. And you wanna break them down without taking the guts out, which is normal for 1,400 pound animal up here in Alaska. So we, we started off with right down the backside, opening all the way around like that. Went right down the middle here. So if you wanna cape it, this is where you start to keep it, like so. Maybe you would even come back a little bit further. We're not caping this one here, but back into here would be nice for your tax units. And then, so we've skinned that much of it off right now because we're not keeping the cape. We're just gonna break them down as he lies. Here's your back strap. You're gonna pull that off. We're gonna pull off a quarter next, pull off the front shoulder, take all the neck meat off. That's what's gonna be happening next. Hit that right, Kyle. Yeah, it's a lot of work, but it's so much easier if you just take all the meat off this side first, and then you've taken half the weight off the animal so that you can move them around a little bit. And with this one, we're not gonna keep the cape because I'm just gonna do a European mount. We'll bust the head off, and then when we get the head off, it allows us to flip them over a little bit easier too, because if you got the head on, it's just a pain in the butt to, to try to flip them so we'll we'll get all that done the other thing too a lot of guys bring out their saws and start sawing off legs you don't need to do that you can do all of that with the knife so whether it's a you know a little Gerber like this or a, another bigger knife you can do that without without a saw well we'll be showing you that here next so I've skinned down the leg here and I'm just gonna skin it all the way down to the kneecap right here you can see where the hooves are and this is legally where you take it off, right here at the kneecap for the front shoulder. And you can see right now, Kyle's actually doing the hind hawk area. And in relation, you can see the hoofs down there. And don't cut your, don't cut that tendon. Because if you cut that tendon behind the leg, then you won't have a place to hang it. So we're gonna take that knee out down here, that hawk right there. So just make sure you don't cut this tendon because that'll, that can alleviate, takes away your spot to hang that, hang that meat too, so. This is my first time trying gloves. I kind of like it. I kind of like the rubber glove I like action. it, yeah. You're done with this whole job here. You just pull the gloves off and your hands don't smell and you don't have blood underneath your fingernails and you're just ready to go cook some tenderloin up. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Kyle, tell them what we did. We got that hind quarter off. Yeah, so we took the hind quarter off and the way you do that is cut up, you cut into the very back part of the back strap cut down the spine, cut around, and you'll cut down to this this uh, joint here. You have to reach in there and pop that tendon. It was a little difficult. Troy had to help me on that one because it's this is a big this is a big critter. Now what we've done is we went around the testicles and we're leaving that attached to the other hind quarter so that we've got proof of sex. He was gonna leave the hair on. I, I said I wanted no hair pie on this one. So we took the hair out of the way, but just make sure you got the nuts and the uh, pecker there attached so that you're good to go on that side so that if you get stopped you're you're completely legal there it's going to be a pain but just leave it on there until you get it to the to the butcher shop yep so there's the, the balls and there's the pecker sex and this is going to stay on this on this quarter after we pull off the shoulder here the back straps back here and then we're going to take this rib cage off and then we'll flip and then just tell them what we'll do. Then yeah, we'll... so once that rib cage is off, we can also access the, the tenderloin on that side. So we'll get that tenderloin out. We'll flip this joker over and we'll do the same on the other side. A lot of this will already be done once we flip it over. We just gotta be careful here. We got a, a tarp, so we flop that hind quarter up there. This hind quarter on this bowl, I'd venture to say it's probably 110, 120 pounds. Yep. The yep. last ones I weighed, which were smaller bowls than this, they weighed 120 pounds. 
So 115, 120, but it could be more than that. That's a lot of weight. And next we're gonna do is take off right here at the hawk and leave this tendon over here on the side attached so you can hang it up in the tree. Yeah, and what I did was I just cut that with my knife so that I've got a handle there to hang out yep. to because these are some slippery buggers. Yep. We got the handle there. Uh, it just makes it a little bit easier to, to do. And these are, this is like just quartering a big, a really big white tail. So it's the same. You just have to dig a little deeper to find joints and things like that. It helps if you got a guy like Troy that's done this a bunch. He's, he's messed with a lot of these moves so he can get yeah. you dialed in. Here's what the back side looks. We're gonna skin all that hide off the other side and then we'll, then we'll pull off this back strap right here and you'll, we'll show you that next. All right, so I'm gonna go over here doing a selfie with, I'm gonna pick up this front shoulder. I'm gonna put it on my leg like that. And you can see how I can know where to cut this off here. I can, I can cut up inside of there and start lifting this shoulder up as I peel it back and I'll just start cutting in here like that. And then I'll get that, that front shoulder off and we'll lay it over into that tarp over there where it's nice and clean and, and we can throw it into a game bag. So Troy started at the front here, he cut down until he hit the tendon. That's the hump there. The big hump there. All that back strap came out. Try to just pull that out as you go and uh, all the way to the back end, you hit that, that I guess I'd call that the hip bone, um, whatever that is, but all the way back to that. You've already taken off your hind quarter, so you kind of know where, know where you're at. The next thing what we'll do is we gotta take these ribs off. We gotta take this neck meat off. We'll get it all the way down. The other thing that, that I like to do, and I'm pretty sure Troy would agree with this, when I get all done, and I've taken every piece of meat off this animal, I document it. I take photos, Absolutely. so if anybody ever says you didn't take the right amount of meat, and there was you know, meat uh, spoilage or wanton waste or whatever, you can show them that you actually took all the meat off there, because it's just a good Practice. rule of thumb. Yeah, I don't, I've never had anybody ask me for that, but uh, when we get done with this, there won't be a lot left. Should be just a spine. Yep, spine and a jaw. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> This is the ticket for busting up the ribs on your moose. I did this whole moose by myself, and I can do these ribs in just under a minute, practically one side and then the other side and they're off. So get rid of the saw. This is all you need by far. Watch this. One rib, two ribs, and so on. So another way to cut out the ribs on these moose, is you can take a saw, but it's much easier to use one of these. Zoom in on this right here. See, it's a whole lot easier than trying to saw through that. I mean, it takes, this just didn't even take a minute when I'm through this part of the rib. Be sure to click the subscribe button and when you do that hit that bell and it'll help notify you the next time I have another training video coming out or a video like this here just telling you and giving you some great information on where to go on your next Alaskan adventure.